Well, testing bike's a bit of a passion of mine, always has been, been doing it for 25 years, but I think if I had to sort of nail it down, you know, testing suspension is uh, something that I really kind of enjoyed doing because I think, you know, for a bang for buck in terms of the improvement you can make on your bike with suspension, it's something pretty cool. So here we're still, uh, Leocopolis from, um, from One Point Suspension uh, down in Victoria. So good at his game that I know a lot of crew that actually you drive interstate to go and, uh, for his services. But um, one of the really exciting things, you know, when these 24 and now 25 uh, KDM Huskies came out, they came out with a exact closed cartridge forks. First time ever for a production enduro bike, you know, that they run a closed cartridge. Pretty big news, you know, and I, I think it's probably fair to say, even though there was 95% of new parts in that 2024 onwards yeah. models, the fork headlined that. But something I, I've kind of like, I saw in the brochure and been really excited about testing is something called WP Preload Adjuster Set. So, still, my understanding is that um, in, in absolute layman's terms, right, we've done a lot of adjustment and, yeah. and I've improved forks before by screwing down preload adjuster on the main fork spring. Yeah. Is that they the preload on top actually actually preloads the pressure spring itself. So in doing so, it allows you to adjust the, the front or rear. Uh, chassis balance yep. without loading the mainspring and in doing so without actually giving away some of that soft spring compliance. Am I kind of kind of in the ballpark? Ab I? Absolutely. The, um, the pressure springs definitely have like a, a big effect on um, front end ride height and, and, and also there's a lot of other benefits to the pressure spring as well without going into too much technical um, aspects of it but the, the main thing I think WP are trying to achieve with this pressure spring is is by having another form of way of adjusting ride height not via the main spring but putting which more is, yeah. internal pressure into the cartridge which is a sort of in my understanding a more subtle kind of way rather than the course tune I mean when you grind down even you've said a few few millimeters people don't understand of main spring preload can actually make a huge difference right? massive yeah yeah it definitely does and um, I think yeah, WP has sort of seen an opportunity with the new exact fork and the way that the fork's actually configured. Um, that instead of introducing a preload adjuster like they have with the cone valve or the 7500 kit, they've gone with the with the adjustable pressure spring. Which yeah. for myself, um, I'm really excited about it because I think it, it opens up some new levels of adjustment, not only for the for the rider but also for us tunes. It's, um, yeah, obviously with the, with the chrome valve, you adjust the mainspring. They don't have this technology on that for. Why don't we demonstrate? Show us. For a lot of people going, okay, that's great. The great yeah, looking component, it, yeah. mate. Where's yeah. it? Sit? So <laughs> we're gonna have 500XF project bike over here. So just show us real quick. And so basically, the... this is uh, what the internal cartridge looks like out of the new exact closed cartridge fork. Yes. Um, it simply just sits inside the fork. Um, you've got a dampening rod. A rebound piston which also has some dampening on it for compression and then you have the standard base valve unit which is that one there with yep. the with the valve on it that sits in there and just simply in the cartridge in yes in the cartridge yep. and this unit is full of oil yeah um, and with no no air whatsoever so basically how it works is this rod displaces fluid which then the fluid passes through the base valve compresses our pressure spring maintaining pressure inside the oil to stop the risk of cavitation. So in simple terms, it's just a pressurized four cartridge unit. Yes. Um, the only adjustment you have is compression and rebound at the bottom. Pretty and then it. that literally replaces that. You obviously take yep. the base valve off. Yep, so it just fits on here. And then literally you replace that pressure spring assembly yep. and base valve with the with the Yeah, you exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah, the good thing with them, they come with the spring and the, the free piston all assembled, ready to go. So all you gotta do is, yeah, remove the, the valve in itself, put it onto the new unit, reinstall it in the cartridge, and off you go. I've, I know that you've been doing a lot, you know, I think that's a 20 newton mil uh, spring. I know you yeah. think that's probably on balance a little bit hard, for, particularly for, for enduro use, so you've yeah. been going softer out on that. You've been mucking yeah. around with oil heights. WP Notorious for being generous with their yeah. oil heights, which yeah. actually sort of start ramping up the progression early in the stroke. Yeah. But, all of this adds up to my, my mind is a lot more adjustability, right? Like you're oh, putting, absolutely. for a production fork now, throwing 500 bucks worth of this preload adjuster for the pressure spring on yep. there, that's a, it's a pretty cool, yeah, quite a sophisticated um, option, right? Yeah, like I said, for us tuners, it, it definitely adds a, another level of adjustment that to, to achieve more preload on these springs prior, that we would have to pull the whole unit apart 
put shims under the pressure uh, pressure spring if you wanted to add preload to it. Yes. And then you have to reassemble, then go back out to the track and test. Where now with this new unit, we have the capabilities of doing it track side with zero tools. Okay. Um, yeah. And then the good thing about that is we can we have a range of adjustments. So if we end up with it fully closed, we know that potentially we might need to go to a heavier. If it's if we're closing and it's getting better and better. Yeah we can go to a heavier pressure spring yeah. and then we get that full adjustment back. So, yeah. or vice versa. Um, so yeah, again, it's it, it's just gives us that adjustment and gives us an idea of where we need to be. What's interesting, I was just doing the math out on the KDM's Hard Enduro and Husky's Pro Edition. I think it comes with those adjusters, yep. uh, adjusters already installed. Otherwise, just shy of uh, 500 bucks for the pair of them. I think you can actually get one with alloy uh, adjusters as well you for can, another 160 yeah. bucks yeah, or something yeah, like yeah, that. But can. Um, uh, in your mind, it's a, it's, a, it's a really good thing and you're looking forward to yeah. mucking around with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm super keen to yeah, get it on track and start running through different combinations of springs and adjustment and yeah, just sort of see where, what kind of um, feedback and results we can get out of the fork with, with the riders. I guess the last question, because we're about to stick it in our, our project bike, or you are in fact, like, yeah. is a punter going to be able to do it? You know, what, in what level of sort of mechanical aptitude um, or suspension do you have to, uh, to be able to fit that and do it securely and safely? Um, I think uh, anyone that's a qualified mechanic or has a, a good level of mechanical background knowledge and, and skills will be able to tackle it themselves. Or, yeah, they're welcome to obviously pull the flocks out and bring them down to their authorised WP dealer or their, their suspension tune and you know, we can re we can install them quite easily. I guess, you know, suffice to say that we're really looking forward to being able to do this tool for adjustment, you know, to adjust that, you know, like that, that chassis forward to rear, like everything from going from high speed sandy sort of stuff to, yep. to tight bush and just having that extra um, level of adjustability. So mate, huge thanks for helping us out with no worries. Uh, with all this testing. Um, look forward to checking in with you in a couple of months time when we have yeah. a chance to put in that thing and, and test it under all sorts of different conditions. Yeah, get some feedback on it and uh, yeah, see where we can end up with it. For sure.